Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and here we are with another amazing deck review. This is probably my favourite deck so far this year. This deck coming up is absolutely outstanding. It's the Marie Level Occult League deck and it's absolutely superb. So let's go and have a look at the deck and then as always we're taking into the league and show you how good this deck really is. Marie Lavu. I think it's a fairly new card. Uh, epic limited card. Anyhow, here we go. There is the deck code. Uh, deck code is AM8C12. That's AM8C12. You'll find that in the middle. The deck is there on the left. You'll see there's loads of occult cards in here. And let's go through it. First card up then, obviously, is Marie Lavu. 7 for 45. Epic limited. Listen to this. On the draw... For every the occult card in your deck up to a maximum of seven, this card gains plus seven power permanently. And we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven occult cards in this deck. So she qualifies for the maximum buff. Absolutely amazing card. And then I've gone with another cool occult card, one of my favourites. Like to hold this card, Ouroboros. Used to play this card all the time, but he's back. Back for good, hopefully. 5 for 65, Epic Limited. On the start, this card gains plus 15 until play. So like I said, I'm just going to hold him and hold him and hold him and maybe hold him a little bit longer. And then on the play, this card loses minus 30 power. And on the return, this card gains the 30 power back until play. So that's Ouroboros, amazing card. Moving on, let's look at some more of these occult cards. Another Epic Occult card. Uh, I think you say... Ceremoncy, serum, serum, ceremoncy, <laughs> ceremony. C. There we go. Six for fifty-eight on the draw. If you are winning the round, your science and arts and cultures cards in hand gain fifteen power until this is returned to your deck. Pretty useful. And then a really useful card. I love this one. This is entromancy. And Enoptromancy. <laughs> 7 for 60. Wow, these are difficult. They're like paleontology cards, some of these. 7 for 60. A limited epic. On the return, if you are trailing by 100 or more, your opponent loses minus 100 next turn. And if you're leading by 100 or more, your opponent gains 100 at next turn. So you need to be careful how you play that one, but he's a really, really useful card. Okay, moving on. Another super epic occult card is the Electronic Voice Phenomena. 5 for 44 on the play. If your deck contains no science cards, where well, we have no science cards, then your occult cards, wherever they are, gain 18 until played. And as you know, I love the until played uh, cards. That is absolutely amazing. 5 for 44, good card. And then one, again, you need to be a little bit careful with this one, but it's an amazing card, which is Sabbath. Another epic limited on the return. If you want the turn, your the occult cards, wherever they are, gain plus 25 at this round. 6 for 56 is its base score. So pretty good card. Like I said, you just need to make sure you win the round or win the turn with that card. Moving on, Baphomet. Nice card, this one. Another epic limited. Look at all these epic cards. Uh, 6 for 56 on the play the cards adjacent so play this one in the middle and opposite to this game plus 25 power this turn and on the return all cards wherever they are cost minus one energy this round 656 absolutely amazing will help us also a little bit hopefully with our energy but i think we should be okay uh, grimori 6 for 42 another epic epic, epic limited occult card on the draw, your occult cards, wherever they are, gain plus 25 for three turns. So if you can get him bunched up with those other occult cards, you are going to be in a great position. Abacomancy, 4 for 38. Interesting picture, that one. Epic Limited. On the play, if you've played three or more of the occult cards this game, gain 13 power permanently. Pretty useful. I like that one. And then the next one up, another occult card. This time, it's a limited legendary. Uh, but it's too good not to put on necromancy on the draw if your deck contains no science cards well we don't uh give five random the occult cards wherever they are 28 until played absolutely phenomenal really that card really good 
Now, if you count our epics, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, no surprise. Have to put him in, really. Beowulf, 8 for 55. Going to give us some extra points. Uh, what does he do? You should know this one now. If your deck has 14 or more epic cards, your epic cards, wherever they are, gain 19 until played. And Beowulf is probably the reason why epic cards are probably better than a lot of limited legendaries and certainly better than some mythic cards. So those good epic cards now, lock them up, keep them safe. Okay, moving on. Let's have a look at some of our history cards. We've got Ectoplasm, 4 for 41, another epic limited card. On the play, if your deck has exactly three hoaxes and con card, or cons cards, which we do, you're the occult cards, wherever they are, gain 17 until played. Well, Ectoplasm counts as one, and the next two are, or the next one, I should say, is the Fox Sisters, three for 33, a limited legendary. Uh, on the play, if you've played two or more hoaxes and con cards this game, you're the occult card, wherever they are, gain 23 until play. Fits in so nicely into this deck. I did have to put in Magna Carta because the energy is a little bit of a concern. On a high energy week, you can easily swap this out and put something a little bit better in. But it does the job this week. 2 for 15, Magna Carta. You're epic and rare. And like I said, I've got 14 epic cards and no rare cards. 14 epics. Uh, wherever they are, cost minus two until play. That absolutely amazing. And that's on the draw, which is pretty good. On the play, if you've got the Declaration of Independence or the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, those cards gain at 20 this time. Well, I don't have either of those. Purely put Magna Carta in for the energy. And like I said, maybe next week when you've got 25 starting energy, I think, then you can swap him out easily for something a little bit better. Another card that you can swap out. I've put it in this week because it's an epic limited. Uh, 6 for 50. On the draw, your opponent's legendary cards, wherever they are, lose minus 25 for three turns. Quite useful. Bit hit or miss that one, really. You don't know how many legendary cards your opponent's going to get. So again, you can quite easily swap that one out. Don't put a science card in, but you can pretty much put in any other epic card instead of the Siege of Baghdad. And then I've also gone with Identity Theft because i like it <laughs> eight for 68 epic limited on the play for every legendary card in your opponent's deck up to a maximum of 10 your cards in hand gain plus four until play that is identity theft great card really and then back to the arts and cultures i've squeezed in another occult card i left him out but then i put him back in again at epic limited six for 58 he's only going to get all the occult bus because he doesn't really do much on the play your signs of the Zodiac cards in hand game plus 20 until played. Haven't got any of them. And on the draw, your signs of the Zodiac cards in hand cost minus two until played. Like I said, he's only in there as an epic occult card and he will buff up nicely. You should get about 150 to 180 points on the Zodiac man. And then the last one, another epic. And again, you can swap this for any other epic. But I like this one because it does buff up your occult cards. Henry Fusel. He is a prominent painter, 6 for 66. No idea what he painted, uh, but on the draw, you're a cult and the mythical creature cards, wherever they are, gain plus 17 of power this round. So pretty useful. Uh, like I said, he's a bit of a throwaway card, but you've got the added benefit there. He is going to buff up your occult cards a little bit during the round. So there we go. This is my amazing Mary LaRue deck. Like I said, there's a few in there that you can swap around different ways of doing it uh let's just go online i was offline while i was doing that okay we are uh that's the wrong deck let's find the right deck there we go we are four shields let's see if we can get that up to five shields oh that was quick we are playing <laughs> svy sva q82 let's just call you civi <laughs> okay so ooh, oceans and sea interesting Okay, so let's have a look. What should we do? Identity. Ouroboros is out nice and early. We can just hold that now for the whole game. Hopefully we can get him up to a massive score. Oh, this could be good riding the waves deck. I've seen a lot of riding the waves deck lately. They are starting to get really good. I need to revisit that, I think. So 39, Sizi. We are leading. So there's Magna Carta. That's going to help. Uh, the Witch's Sabbath. We haven't got many scoring cars at the moment. Let's see what we can do. 
Um, let's put that there, which is, we haven't played three or more occults yet, have we? No, let's do Magna Carta. One, four, five. Oh, we're still in touching distance. I thought we were going to be a long way behind. Flying Cloud's going to get that 100 buff. That's a great cast, Flying Cloud. Don't use it anymore. I used to use it all the time. Okay, we are one in the lead. And there is Marie Lavou. Let's get her around as quickly as we can. And uh, Henry. Probably a waste of Henry, but I want to keep those other two cards. Because Henry, you get the occult buff for this round. So he's just a useless card there. 225. Oh, there's that junk card. <laughs> what a pile of junk. No, not really. Good deck there, CZ. I like it. Okay, we are 1-0 up. That's a good start. This deck will get stronger and stronger. But so to ride in the waves. This is going to be an interesting battle, actually. Okay, so Beowulf's giving us that buff. There's the Fox Sisters coming round. Um, those two cards on the end, I'm going to hold a little bit. And let's see, whatever it is, the Mirror and Ouroboros. I want to hold them. Oh, now we can probably play it when we're 100 behind. That's a good hit. Well played, Sizzy. Sizzy. Sizzy Saki 82. Okay, now I think could be a good time to play at the Mirror. What do you think? Uh, put that one in the middle. Whoops, he's moved. Put him back. Uh, let's hold the mirror until the next turn. 315 is not a bad score. He's going to get a big one here. Oh, nice. Titanic is a great card as well. The Spanish Armada. Look at that. 72 on the Spanish Armada. Really good card. Definitely need to do a ride in the waves deck, I think. Okay, 205. We are 200 behind. So if we play the mirror now, he will lose 100 Assuming we're going to lose the round by 100, he will lose 100 on the next turn. Um, there we go. And see the bag down there as well. 3 4 4. That's good. Nice score. 5 0 4. Really good score. But for us, that's okay. We wanted to lose by at least 100 there. And then we get the benefit of the mirror. See that there? He's now on minus 100. Oh, well, minus 90. He got a little buff himself uh, for the start of round three. And our cards now should start to get quite powerful. Look at that Ouroboros is buffing up really nicely. So probably it's a Zodiac Man. There we go. That Zodiac Man is quite useful card. 3, 2, 2 and the buff from Identity. That's great. We get the win with Witch's Sabbath. That's important because that buffs up our occult cards. Really good. 180 in the lead. There we go. 25 buff from the Widget Sapper on 11 cards if you win. Absolutely amazing, really. And there she is. The young lady. The beautiful young lady. Come on. She is really powerful. Look at that. Uh, 24132 and 44180. 603 is not a bad score at all. Great score there, though, Sizey. He's keeping up. He is doing really well. Really nice deck. Okay, we are three, four, nine in the lead. Let's get this round finished. And then we should be okay. So Henry is back again already. Beowulf, a nice buff. Probably want to get Magna Carta round just in case. We've got 25 energy, but just in case, let's get him circulated round. One, nine, six should be enough. What's he got? He needs a big score. He needs over 500. I'm not sure. Oh, he's changing his cards. We've ended the turn. Not much we can do here. Let's see what he's got. Is he going for a big score? He needs 540, I think. 544. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be close. 523. Oh, unlucky size. That was close. That was very close. 22. Oh, at least we've got Magna Carta around anyhow. Okay, so 2 1 up. The power of the Maria Lavu Occult League deck. Don't forget that deck code AM8C12 if you do want to copy this deck. It is an amazing deck. So let's just get these three occult cards round. Don't forget on round four, the first two cards you play are really important because they will come back right at the very end if you get to round five. Four, nine, nine. This is close. 
Look at Araboros though, sitting there quietly in the corner. He could be the game winning card that one. 27 in the lead. He's buffing up nicely. Oh, do we throw this round and use the mirror? Let's just go for it, see what we get. 303. Yeah, that's good. So the mirror is going to be double useful in this game. We can now play the mirror because we will be at least 100 behind at the end of this turn. And that will give us a really good position. Uh, which is Sabbath. Ooh, probably not the best three cards. I'm guessing Identity Theft, Mirror and Siege of Baghdad. 357. Come on, make sure you beat us by 100. Come on. Yeah, no problem. Wow, great score. Look at that. What's that? The Golden Hide? Wow, that's amazing score. Red Sky and Mornings. Uh, that's a good card. Didn't know that one. Nice card. Okay, that is what we wanted to do. Lose that by 100. So he's now on minus, only on minus 80 actually. He's got a bit of a buff, isn't he, each round. So he's on minus 80. Still a good start. And Marie is back. And Araboros, look at Araboros. So let's try and win. Ooh, 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 let's go big. Let's go big. Eight, 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 lucky eight. Oh, that's all I could do. We were running low on energy, so we had to go for it. But that's an amazing score. That's a shame. I think we could have got a thousand points if we'd hold it a little bit longer. But I couldn't take the risk. I wanted to win. I could have played Witch's Sabbath, I guess. But never mind. We've got a 697 lead. I can't see him coming back from that. And there we go. That Magna Carta. So pleased that we circulated that. We can now afford to play three cards. They're all on four, four and four. And it's still 588. Oh, what a score. 868. Nicely done. This is close. We're still 400 in lead. 417. Really good. The Riding the Waves deck are looking really nice these days. Okay, we are okay. We should be able to play three cards again. Yeah, there we go. 444 four, four again. Put him in the middle. May as well. Uh, 440. He needs 850. Can he do it? Oh, he ran out of energy as well. But 4464, four, 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 536. Four, well played. Really good game. I enjoyed that. Anyhow, guys, that is the power of the Maria Lavu Occult League deck. It's going to be an absolutely amazing deck. You can tweet it around a little bit for next week. Take out some of those energy saving cards. Maybe put in a few more high scoring cards. And it's going to be an absolutely killer offer deck. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. It really does help us. And please do give us a like. That helps us even more. And we will be back very soon with some more cool Q videos. Take care. See you all soon. Bye.